Hi, Lee. Thank you for joining in today's interview. How are you doing today? I'm very good, and you? I'm doing good as well. Thank you for asking. So before we proceed, can you give a brief introduction about yourself? Uh, sure, yes. Um, my name is Lee, and um, I'm uh, an aspiring Tableau developer, and I uh, have been working towards uh, getting myself um, in a position where I can uh, start a job in Tableau. I graduated with an associate and degree in development and um, looking to switch to Tableau visual, uh, data visualization. Um, uh, it's something that I've been inter interested in and I'm looking forward to be a useful tool in your company. That's awesome. So as you mentioned that you aspire to be a Tableau developer. So what is the version of Tableau you uh, you are working at the moment? I did uh, practice uh, Tableau with a 2018 version. And um, it has been uh, good so far. And I have noticed some changes with the new uh, version of Tableau that they have currently. So 2018 is a very old version. Tableau has incorporated a lot of changes after the 2020 version. So okay. haven't you explored it yet? Uh, uh, the new one I have, um, it's um, it's different uh, from uh, the previous one because uh, it doesn't have dimensions or measures like like uh, written on them. It's just tables and they, they, they separate the dimensions and the measures with uh, the colors, uh, which is green for measures and blue for dimensions. And that's, those are the, some differences I've seen. Okay, actually there are a lot of differences. Have you explored relationships? Okay. Did you, expl uh, did you explore relationships in Tableau? Uh, not really. Um, I have not, Mm -hmm. I have not uh, seen a lot of it, uh, like got to see the changes. I just work on small projects that I see online. Okay. Yes. Fine. So since you mentioned about projects, can you explain mm -hmm. one of the projects that you have worked? What were the KPIs and how did you figure out the visualization? Uh, yes, uh, so the projects I have worked on or um, I've worked on a couple projects. Um, just to see the sales, uh, the profit sales that we get from uh, a given timeline, just to see if there is a uh, more, uh, what do you call it? Not a problem. So what, what's, what's the data source you have been using in your project? Uh, CSV files and um, I just save them on Excel and then I um, used uh, Tableau to- uh, So what's, what's the domain of your project then? Means what was the- Domain of whether whether it oh, was a superstore. sample superstore. So sample superstore, you correct. Okay, sample superstore. So that means e-commerce. So I I believe that you have uh, created calculated fields as well while doing your analysis. Yes, I have. I have. Do you know what is uh, an LOD? A uh, level of Description. Uh, Is it? Correct, yes. You are using 2018 version that you mentioned. In 2018 version, does LOD work? I believe it does, yes. Yes, okay. So, uh, Let's talk about 
relationships and sorry you do not you don't have idea of relationships let's talk about joins and blends okay what's the difference between joining tables and what's the difference uh, if i have to compare with blending tables uh so joins are from uh, the same data source uh, you it could be different tables or worksheets that are coming from the same uh data source and blending will be coming from different uh data source could be like uh sql server or excel or oracle so that's how uh you can differentiate differentiate uh it too so there's a concept called as cross database join are you aware of it uh I may have heard of it. I can say no. I, I cannot say yes. I know exactly what it is. Okay, fine. So, what is the difference between a data source filter and a context filter? A uh, data source filter, to my knowledge, which is limited, um, would be when you filter the data that you uh, bring in to the Tableau workspace that you're going to be working with. And um, context filter would be the actual data on the, uh, the workspace that you can um, limit or remove some of the data you're working with to. So filters will definitely filter out data. That's the job of okay. the filter. Okay. So how is it different? How context filter is different from a data source filter? What is happening in the filtering level of the data source filter, which might not be happening in context filter or might be happening in a different way? Um, no problem. I think you can explore that later. But okay. can you tell me what are the different filters that we have in Tableau? Very basic question. Uh, yes, uh, there is data, data source, uh, context filter, um, date and uh, time, dimension, measures, and um, spatial, which is like geo. Date uh, and time is date and time of filter. What is the first filter that we have in Tableau? Uh, extract. Correct. After that? Uh, data source. Mm -hmm. After that? Context filter. Yeah. Uh, dimensions, uh, measures, Correct. and... Uh, Yeah, that those are the filters that we have. Then we have the quick table calculation. That's a, that's not a filter, but that's a in order of operation. Then the quick table calculations comes into picture. Now, if I have to ask you, what is a cascading filter? What would be your answer? Or how to ensure that the filters behave like a cascading filter? I can't. Uh... I think you can explore that later as well. Okay. Fine. Uh, since you have worked on a very older version, so I, my questions will be very limited because after 2020, Tableau actually introduced a lot of changes, a lot of concepts, uh, which I think you have not yet explored. So you won't be able to answer to those questions. But yes, if I have to ask you that, uh, what is a dual axis? And give me a use case scenario wherein you have implemented dual axis. Um, I, I have, um, when you are trying to join to set, uh, uh, let's say you have a dimension and you have two measures, correct? And um, those two measures, they are separated, 
plus the uh, two measures. They're separated. And if you want to join them together, you can uh, right click the one peel and then choose dual access to show the The what's two. the use of how, how will you use it in the industry suppose if you are selected today in today's interview and mm -hmm. you're working on one of my projects so in which kind of scenarios will you will go will you be going for a dual access uh, if you would like to see a trend uh, if there's a relationship between the two measures and if you want to see a trend you can but uh, which which measures? Give me a use case. So okay, figure out a use case for yourself and explain that to me. Uh, let's say if you have a bar graph and you have uh, different genders, male and female, mm -hmm. they'll be separated. And if you connect them together, uh, let's say you uh. make them like, uh, instead of uh, discrete continuous, you can ch choose a trend line between the two axes and see uh, mm -hmm. what the I don't think is. so. Okay, that's fine, not a problem. So do you have any exposure on the Tableau server side? Uh, by, uh, I worked on Tableau, Tableau Public. And um, public is not server. I'm asking about server. Not exactly. No. Okay. Fine. So let's ask you questions on SQL. So, what are the different subsets of SQL we have? Different subsets of SQL. Uh, Different subsets of SQL, uh, can you explain more, like? DDL, DML. Oh, OK. Uh, the DML, like the data manipulation language, uh, the, uh, the transaction language is one of them. Uh, I haven't touched on SQL in, in a while, but okay. I can uh, data manipulation is uh, when you can uh, DDL is when you are creating the tables and stuff. Uh, define definition language. You're defining the uh, the table and stuff like that. Uh, DML when you're manipulating the and then uh, the transaction. So what do you mean by manipulation? So you are, so DML stands for data manipulation. So you are telling, it's like a, what, what is a printer? A printer is something who, which prints. <laughs> but I want the core technicality of the answer. Means what does that mean? What do you mean by manipulation? What kind of manipulations it is doing? Uh, and how? Updating and, um, if you are updating and if you um, okay, I'm not a problem. Is blank, but yes. Okay. Do you know what is a primary key and a foreign key? Uh, yes. Uh, when you're joining different tab tables, do you want to form a relationship? So the primary key and the foreign keys are used to link the two tables or however what could. is the primary key? uh primary key is a unique um id unique uh field in the table that will help you uh that is not manipulated that can uh be linked to another table which will be a foreign key in another table to create that relationship so then what is a foreign key? A uh, foreign key is just uh, a primary, it's a, it's a primary key from another table. Uh, oh, it's a foreign key will be uh, the linking primary key from another table. 
No, you, you have studied, but it's not coming the right way. It means you are not able to explain the things. I can understand a lot of efforts will be required to do the homeworks correctly. Okay, fine. So my final question will be, where do you see yourself in the next five years of time? I would see myself with, um, as a senior developer, someone people can come to and be able to uh, uh, explain uh, Tableau in a more experienced way and have a certificate in uh, Tableau to show uh, that I am uh, growing in mm -hmm. my uh, studies. So why do you think we should hire you today? I am very eager and passionate about uh, working for your company and uh, Tableau has been uh, my focus and goal uh, since um, graduating and I've seen all the good work that your company is doing and it looks like it's growing in the right direction and i'll be i would like to be part of it uh moving forward so as you mentioned that you are passionate to learn about tableau but don't you think you are still working on a very old version, which does not reflect that passion for Tableau? I have uh, I've in, uh, installed the newer version that, and I've been working on it uh, for a couple of weeks, and it's um, some changes that I am. Uh, trying to get used to because I run into some issues and I have to Google search for uh, solutions for it, but I've been working on the newer version of it. Okay, fine. Thank you so much, Lee, for your time. We'll start with the feedback session now, okay? Okay. Okay, if you want to have a glass of water, it's fine, okay? So how...